What's something that people think makes them look cool but actually has the opposite effect? When babies get excited about walking. Real Efkin cool baby. I can walk too. Yeah. Smug little bastards. Having a side chick slash girl slash guy. Especially in some Instagram comedy cringe sketches where it's relatable jokes. No, it's not funny or cool to cheat on your significant other, you're trash. Edit, this is not about polyamorous people or polygamous relationships. This is about affairs and thinking it's cool to lie to your SO. It has nothing to do with polygamy or polyamory as they are valid and can be healthy, but cheating and violating your partner's trust cannot. These things should not be aligned in any way and are completely different. Edit 2, how is this getting so twisted? The point is literally cheating is bad, how is that so polarizing? I thought this said sidekick and I thought that would be hella cool to have a sidekick. That should be more socially accepted. Grown women who use baby talk to other adults in normal conversation. No, you are not cute or cool or whatever the hell you think you are, weirdo. You would hate Korea. We don't like it too. Unless they're very cute. And even then, we like them for how cute they look, not the way they talk. I was trying to explain to someone why I gave up coffee. I was addicted and I had started to suffer from insomnia. If I went too long, maybe like an hour or two, without one, I would begin to shake and migraines would set in. Basically just normal effects of overdoing caffeine. She asked me how many I was having, and basically tried to turn it into this competition of oh I drink more coffee than you, om gim so quirky and sleep deprived ha ha. Stop turning bad habits and other people's issues into a competition of how badly you treat your body. It doesn't make you cool. Edit, thank you for gold smile. I work in a coffee shop, so many customers love to weirdly brag about how much coffee they drink in a day and how badly they need caffeine to function. Haha <laughs> yeah throw an extra shot in there for me that's nothing, I can drink 5 of those in a day. You wouldn't believe how much caffeine I take haha <laughs> yeah that's not ghoul or anything Karen you have a legitimate problem, kids bragging about their parents wealth and success. Man, people who say well my parent is blah 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 like they know or can do the same things their parents can really get under my skin edit, hey I finally noticed it was my cake day before 11pm, thanks everyone. Story, when I was in like 6th grade on the school bus someone said something and brought attention to me, this girl exclaims ee ooh you have lice. To which I respond no I don't, it's dandruff. And she comes back with no, it's like my mom's a hairstylist. And all I could say was so. Then went back to sleep as best I could. It's not that they're trying to tell you they can do the same stuff. It's that they want you to defer to them like royalty because their parents are important and powerful. I taught HS and MS for 7 years. That shit happened pretty routinely. The worst part of it was that it typically worked because of community politics. You don't want to upset the kid of rich parents or parents who are connected to the right people. I had a kid once who was the adopted son of two successful attorneys. He was always bragging about his family's wealth and their multiple vacation homes. One time during a parent-teacher conference, the kid all but admitted that the reason he always had several thousand dollars in cash on him at any given time, despite his parents taking away his credit and debit cards and cutting off his $400-WK allowance, was because he was selling drugs at school but we were told, in no uncertain terms by our principal, not to investigate that if we valued our jobs. Sure enough. He got busted off campus selling cocaine a couple of weeks later and went to juvie. People who come out with life lessons and quotes. They think they are so profound and deep but I think they come off as big headed and stupid. My ex puts his own quotes in his Facebook profile picture every month, including the date he said it. It's one of the cringiest things I've seen. He's doing a PhD in philosophy. I study philosophy and it's where I've met some of the most arrogant men in my life. One once lent me a book with poems by T.S. Eliot and it was full of his handwritten notes correcting some of Eliot's poems with better suited words. 
I couldn't believe my eyes. A lot of redditors seem to think that stolen witty one-liners make them look like the patron gods of debate and reason. The next time I see someone say I came for a battle of wits but it seems you came unarmed and ironically I will set their house on fire and then myself edit, everyone replying to this with things like I came for a battle of arms but it seems you came unwitted is proving my point. Not funny didn't laugh. I came for a battle of wits but it seems you came unarmed. Be right back going to Firestore. Hating all genres of music except the one they like, I learned this the hard way by only liking heavy metal and shitting on all other music without giving a chance as a teen. Metal's still my favorite but all genres of good music. Honestly I've seen far more elitism in the metal community than any other music genre I've been involved in. It's a shame because metalheads are usually some of the most chilled, open-minded people you could find, until you start talking about music. I have been guilty of this in the past. Being assholes without a reason. I really hate that this is me, from a young age I've always been an asshole to pretty much all of my friends and now as I'm getting older I'm realizing how much of an asshole I am and I really hate it and a lot of the time I really try to stop but it's become so much of a habit that it's really hard. I know that it could be adolescence and I've always struggled with dealing with my emotions, I compress them a lot and let them all out at once and become a complete mess, especially anger because I lash out at things almost instantaneously. I really hate it and I'm aware of it it's just really hard to stop. Edit, thank you everyone so much for all the support, his sounds so cringy but thank you so much it has genuinely made me feel quite happy smile. Being self-aware is the first step to self-improvement. You're on the right path. One-upping and putting other people down to make yourself look good. Rife in white-collar jobs. I despise people who do it. Yeah hate it when people do it to look good, they should just act normal and put people down to feel good. Crying in corner oh you, dude, what's wrong? Me, sniff my grandma died. Oh you. Puts hand on shoulder dude, both my grandmas are dead, bragging about how smart you are to other people. Really surprised I didn't see this one. Edit, thank you all for the laughs in the replies. Some of your stories about people who are so smart have made my day. Also, poor Trump. I have a friend like this and wow every day I think less of him. He even cites an online IQ test. My husband just got his hair cut into a fucking mullet, so there's that. Edit, whoa, this blew up lol. Sorry babe. And thanks to the kind strangers for the silver and gold, he really likes it, I am not quite a fan, but if it makes him happy I will keep my complaints semi-anonymous and on reddit. Smile, if he drives a 70s Trans Am, your husband is just badass. Extra points if it's gold, elitism. It's fucking stupid to attack someone who enjoys a hobby only just because doesn't put his life on it. Oh you hate elitism? Name three elitists. Only three? What are you, a poser? Boasting about having psychiatric issues edit, to clarify, bragging about self-diagnosed ones, or pretending to have mental issues. People literally brag about their depression like they're talking about their phone w new features like well my depressions comes with self-hatred and no motivation. God I hate the romanticization of mental illness and especially depression since I have chronic and long term MDD. There's nothing cool or cute about having to live with an invisible illness that society doesn't understand and treats it like well we all get depressed at one point. Bragging about accomplishments, no matter how little, is fine, though. I'm sure people disagree but may whatever. ETA, okay, some people seem to think I'm against some with an illness joking about it. As someone who deals with their own mental illness with humor, I assure you. I'm not against it lmfao. Joking about my MDD makes it a lot more bearable. When you try to play it cool by not immediately answering the texts of someone you're interested in. Just makes you look tilde dis tilde uninterested edit, spelling and, obviously, I'm not talking about you, specifically, with your very specific reason for not being able to answer. I'm talking about people who do this intentionally. 
Okay I used to not get this, but when you text someone and they take 30 minutes to respond, it always feels weird responding 10 seconds later. Edit, most people seem to agree that it's not something we do because we think we are cool, but rather we don't want to look like we were sitting there waiting for a response, but some of the funniest responses are those of you who have ascended because you don't get anxious about texting people. I'm sure the number one way you can tell someone is incredibly mature is if they brag about it to random people on the internet smile. I actually got put down by a Tinder match for my quick responses. I mean, I'm right next to my phone. Why should I have to make power moves with someone I'm interested in? Bragging about not reading, having a phone conversation on a loudspeaker in public, or blasting shitty music from a cheap oversaturated BT speaker on public transport. We get it, negative attention is also attention, but taking over a public space with your edginess, is just being an asshole. My parents have recently discovered speakerphone and refuse to believe there is such a thing as speakerphone etiquette. I'll be talking to them and all of a sudden I'll hear, so do we know what we want to order? And I realize they've been holding this entire conversation on speakerphone in a restaurant surrounded by people trying to enjoy their dinner. Oh, and I have thought that my parents are the only one. The absolutely worst case they had done it was when there were a family's friends staying at their place. Parents called me and haven't mentioned anything about being on speaker. They told me about having a last night full of drinking and some stuff. So I asked whether it was okay because one of their guests is quite aggressive and unpleasant when she drinks. And yeah. She was sitting next to them. They went like, but hun, she is sitting next to us. You are being rude. Am I being rude? You are the ones that brings personal talks to the table. I still felt ashamed AF even though what I said was true. I'm not sure if this is just an Australian thing, but people who rev their cars slash motorbikes really loud, and it's usually quite late at night while most people are trying to sleep. Guess it's a thing worldwide, yeah soulism isn't country specific. I've been into the import tuna scene for close to 20 years at this point. Now this was more a style of the time say 15 years ago. Backwards upside down visor hats. WTF? Why was that a thing? It'd make more sense to walk around with an onion tied to your belt. They think so fast their brain needs a spoiler. Gotta spoil that lamina flow somehow. People who say things like I'm just an asshole. No. You lack the emotional maturity to deal with others and use nastiness as a defense. It's not cool as a trait. Try be nice. Edit backslash thank you for the gold and silver. I've never met someone who bragged about being an arsehole who wasn't actually one though. Never admitting when you're wrong. It may seem like a confidence power play, however, most people just don't care enough about you to say anything or indicate that they noticed. They'll just slowly drift away from you till one day you're all alone wondering why no one with any level of competence wants to hang out slash work with you. And all you'll have left to do is run for public office. When people play their music loud at the gas pumps. I recently saw a woman leave her toddler in the car with the crappy music blasting to the point that it was uncomfortable and unpleasant for everyone else pumping gas, while she went into the store. Felt bad for that child. My ex did this with our kids. I had to sit her down and explain what was inappropriate about it. She seems to honestly not know it looked more white trash than cool. She's trashy edit, changed white trash to trashy. My ex's skin color is irrelevant. Being into zodiac signs and using them as an excuse for any of their unlikable behavior. Did you see how I snapped on that waiter? I'm sorry, but Mercury is in retrograde and this cancer doesn't have time for his shit. Oh that's cancerous alright. How much they can drink before passing out? Wow. Man or a woman, fucking applause to you. Great achievement. I'm glad that I get drunk fast because it saves me money. I don't drink at all, imagine how much I would have saved if I wasn't a candy fiend ha ha. Please stop blasting your music in places where people cannot escape it. I see your earbuds in your pocket. Please. Salvation. 
or having a phone call with your speaker on so everyone has to hear your conversation. Walking around on speakerphone at the grocery store while holding it in their hand. Put it up to your ear. You are already occupying that hand, the hands free option doesn't have a positive effect in this scenario. Edit, effect versus effect. Judging random people and making fun of the less fortune. No you're not cool. You're a douche. Really nice parkers. People think they look cool, but they actually keep them warm. This made me actually chuckle. I unironically like wearing fingerless gloves. For actual tasks, not just out and about. When people ask me why I wear them I tell them it's because I'm so cool. I'm not exactly certain how uncool they make me, but I know it's a lot. I like the fingerless gloves with finger flaps. Straight up fingerless means my fingertips die a little, but I still want to be able to do finger activities inside without taking my gloves off. Finger activities. We, it's fun and all but it's not a goddamn personality, but, but, 420, xx underscore kushmaster 420 underscore xx has entered the chat. Shitting on things other people like. We all have stuff we don't like, but if you spend all your time putting down everything a person is interested in, you don't look cool or edgy. You look like a dick with no interests. Greater than shitting on things other people like. And often it's preceded by the question, am I the only person? As though the dislike makes them special. Am I the only person with this common opinion?